In this video I will show you how you can get from this AI model to a real 3D print like this. But please note that for the way I show you, you have to use Meshi AI and a tool like Nomadscope. You won't get a direct printable STL with this method. Let's start after the intro. So this is Meshi AI. You get some examples here and it's uh, just like other AI image creator tools you may know you can create from text. This is what I will use but you can also create STLs from images. It's very interesting and uh, other things but I will try this. And you see some examples here. It's basically free to use, but you have some kind of credits you can uh, pay for. But if you only have some models you want to create, it will be free. I logged in with my Google account. And yeah, I will show you how you can create an STL with this or a 3D model. So let's jump right into it. I wanted to create a haunted tree for a very long time, so I put in this text. This is my prompt. I won't uh, type this again, but let's see the results. So I think for what my idea was, you know, you have some idea in your head and you want to create it to a 3D print. And these were actually the first ones I get and I finally stayed with one of them. So these were my first results. And I think, I think it was this one. I like this because it is pretty simple. My idea was something like a cute little stump of a tree. So I didn't want to go for too much uh, details like this one. And I wanted to uh, put a candle in there, an LED candle. So I thought this one was pretty good. And now comes the one thing you have to know about this tool. The models look great if you look at them, but they are textured and if you click this button then you will see the actual STL and this is something completely different. This is what you would get if you print it directly. So it's uh, yeah it doesn't have much details but for my use this is what I want because uh, I want to create it a little bit myself. But what is very important for me is that I have a basic shape. So like these roots, I wouldn't know how to create these roots or I would know how to create these roots, but I wouldn't know how much roots and how long should they be and so on. So just the uh, right organics are difficult for me and this is what I will get with this tool. I get a basic shape and I can work with that in Nomadscope and that's what I like so much about this. So I have an idea and I put in the prompt and then I get something that matches my idea and I can download it and work with that in Nomadscope. I wouldn't print it like this because yeah, it's not that great. You could refine that and I think I did this with one of them, but I don't know where this is. But um, I think it was another other model, but I went with this one and I didn't uh, download the refined one. I worked with this, so you can download it here as an STL and then work with that. 
And I can show you uh, quickly another model I created. I wanted to make a unicorn cat. And here again you see this is what you get first. And you may think, oh wow, that's a great model. But when you deactivate the texture, you see that it's not that detailed. So you would have to create some eyes, maybe some more depth in those ears and so on. But again, you have proportions, you have the organics, so you have the right length of the legs, a tail, the basic sh shape of the face and so on. And that is what would cost me a lot of time to create in Nomadscope or in other program. And I could just work with this and uh, yeah, be much quicker. But it's nothing I, uh, yeah, let's say, stole from another designer. So I, I, of course I could uh, just load the STL of a very detailed cat in Nomad Scarp and then put a horn on it and then say, hey, I created a unicorn cat, but I would like to claim it uh, as my own design at the end. So of course AI helped me here, but after I do something about it, I can create my own model. So I went with this one, I think. And let's jump into Nomad Scope where I finish it for 3D printing. And if you liked the video so far, consider to subscribe and to like this video. Thank you. So now we are in Nomad Scope. I uh, missed to record uh, the beginning of the process, but it's not that important because I won't go into much details here because I'm yeah not that good in Nomad Scope. So if you want an explanation, I think you will find some good tutorials on YouTube from other creators. But here's the basic thing I did. I recreated the eyes because I wanted them to be holes. So if I put a candle in there, yeah, they kind of glow. And so I just created a cylinder and yeah, did a, a mesh boolean. So I subtracted the bodies and here I do the other eye. So it's pretty straightforward. And then I also created a mouth, just a hole. And now I drag the shape a bit. It's pretty easy to do in Nomad Scope with the drag tool. And I also made some uh, yeah, pieces of wood that stick on the head like a crown. And now already it has a good shape. And now I textured it with a brush. There's a wood brush in Nomad Scope already. And here I try to uh, transform the shape a bit so that it is uh, printed more easily, but it uh, changed the shape on the outside, so I removed it. And then one very, very important thing is to smooth it at the end so you don't have that rough uh, texture but a smooth finish for your 3D print. So now I drag the file into Bamboo Studio. I print it on a Bamboo P1S and it's uh, pretty small but that doesn't matter you can scale it up and I just wanted to show uh, yeah, how it looks in the slicer. I didn't do anything special here. This is not a video about slicing and so on. So yeah, you know the pro progress probably. So let's uh, see the sliced fire. I had an issue there with the K factor. Yeah, it doesn't matter here. So let's see. This is how it will turn out. I think this looks pretty good. There was a bit of an uh, issue on the bottom of the STL file, so I um, cut a little slice on the bottom 
I didn't show this in this uh, video because this uh, print loosens. So if you use this method, make sure that you make a clean cut at the bottom so you can print it easy, especially for uh, yeah, a file like this where you don't have legs or anything like that. So let's see the printed result. result and it looks pretty much like the idea I had in the beginning so I'm pretty happy with this let's see it with a candle inside thanks for watching